people have some pretty cool Christmas traditions. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill have a tradition because Tim McGraw loves Coca-Cola cake. So Faith Hill makes him a Coca-Cola cake every year. I love Coca-Cola. I'm going to now try to make a Coca-Cola cake. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need two cups of sugar, two cups of flour, four ounces of melted butter. It's about half a cup. A half a cup of vegetable oil, three tablespoons of cocoa, one cup of Coca-Cola, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a cup of buttermilk, two eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, so what we've got here is we've got all of our ingredients. We're ready to go. First off, we have to get our pan. Now, normally we would set the oven to 325, but because we're using a glass pan, you reduce it by 25 degrees. So we're going to go to the oven, preheated now to 300 degrees. Going to take the vegetable oil and spray it on inside here and get her all ready for our Coca-Cola cake. Okay, so you can see we've got our butter here in the pan. It is melted. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our Coca-Cola. And by the way, you want to make sure that it's, it's turned down low because you don't want your butter to burn in this. Take the Coca-Cola and add this in here. This is All right, here we go. All right, there we go. That's in there. And as well, I'm going to take our oil and stick that in there. And now we're going to bring this to a boil. So I'm going to grab my whisk and whisk this up. Okay, while I'm waiting for my Coca-Cola oil and butter to come to a boil, what I'm going to do is take my dry ingredients and stick them into a big bowl here. So I've got my sugar already pre-measured out. Stick that in there. Get these big lumps out of there, that's for sure. I want to make sure there's no lumps in the sugar. i make it nice and sugary good. And that's an awful lot of sugar with some Coca-Cola in there, too. I hope Tim McGraw's got a good dental plan. And here we go. We've got the flour, too. So we're going to mix that all together. All right, here we go. Turn it off the, the stove. Our butter, Coca-Cola, and oil has come to a boil here. You can see that. So what I need to do is I need to add that to our dry ingredients now. So I do this nice and slow as I don't shock the bowl too much here because this is very hot. I'm going to mix this in nice and slowly here into our dry ingredients. Now it becomes really syrupy, eh? Wow. It's almost like maple syrup on snow. Alright, you can see I've got this uh, switch to the whisk here and uh, Starting to smooth out a little bit. Got some more liquid to stick in here. It's going to make it a little easier to mix, I'm hoping. And take our buttermilk, already pre-measured out. I'm going to pour that right in there. Oh, that's going to add a nice taste to it there. And stir that in. And we're going to, at the same time, put our baking soda in here, too. Get that all the way around. Like that. And just mix it in. Here we go with the cocoa. I take that, as you can see, this mixture is nice and smooth. It's almost looks like honey now, like a nice thick honey. And take that cocoa, woo, like a big explosion of cocoa. Stick that in there. Going to mix that in. Going to put that all the way through. Going to get right down in there deep, just like that. Oh boy, I'll tell you what that buttermilk smell and this cocoa right now. I feel like I could just dip my whole head right in there and eat it. Oh, that's going to make it chocolatey. This is this is turning out to be something different than I had thought. So this is this is going to be pretty good. Um, and as well, at the same time, one of the main ingredients of Coca-Cola is, oh, I spilled a little bit, vanilla. And I've got this great teaspoon here, pre-measured teaspoon of uh, vanilla. Stick that in there and mix her all up. Get that going. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's that's looking like a cake now. Okay, I've got the vanilla and cocoa all mixed in there now. You can see that's all the way through. Now what I'm going to do is going to take these eggs. Now, it says in the recipe to put in one egg at a time. And trying to get ready, I thought it would be a good idea to put two eggs in here. and just go bloop and maybe... That. So I'm going to see how this works. I'm see if I can put in one egg at a time. So let's see how this works. There comes one. Oh, I got it. Hey, hey, look at that. 
Got it. Got it. Look at that. They're going to mix in one egg at a time. So you go, get in. It's like I'm following a bouncy ball around a karaoke screen. Come on, get in there. All right. Get that going. And that looks like that one's in there. So we'll get the other one going. Boy, oh boy, maybe I'll go on tour with Tim McGraw and I'll pretend to be Faith Hill. I'll, I'll go in a dress for what she's making, I'll tell you now. This is so. Mmm. Mm. 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 Hey. Hey, everyone. I'm not testing it out a little bit. There. Okay, it tastes pretty good. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our cake now. I think I, I need a napkin. Okay. Hey, we're going to take the cake. We're going to pour it into the center of the pan. Just like here. And let it naturally flow out. Just like that. Not that I don't want to scrape this later and eat it all raw, but I want to get as much out here as you possibly can because there's always going to be a little bit left over that the kids can lick the bowl and the spoon and stuff, so it's always fun. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to, I still have some chocolate on my lips, don't I? Uh, I'm going to take this and we're going to stick it in the oven. For about half an hour, we're going to check it, so stick it in there now. Whew, that's hot. Whew, be careful. This is the part you don't want the kitties to be playing around with. All right, so there you go. I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to check it in about half an hour. I'm going to put the old knife test to it and see what happens. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes in a glass pan at about 300 degrees. going to take our Coca-Cola cake out. This is, oh, watch that big gust of heat there. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put it right on this cooling rack here. Okay, well, the cake is out. Everything's ready to go. It says to put some real icing on there. I just got the stuff from the store. I'm going to throw that on there and ice it. So we're going to see what this tastes like. So have yourself a Merry Christmas. Enjoy some Coca-Cola cake. And uh, if you're going to be out visiting, don't drink and drive. Merry Christmas.